Hey there guys, uh, you probably know by now that I get terribly excited uh, about small things and one of the things I've discovered was additional functionality of uh, Notepad++. It turns out that you can edit files directly on your Raspberry using Notepad alone, which is brilliant because you no longer have to uh, enable copy and paste using uh, virtual desktops. All you can do is really just open the notepad, type it away, and the file's gonna be edited and saved on your Raspberry. So I'll show you two things. I'll show you how to enable the copy and paste functionality using the uh, virtual desktop, and also I'll show you how to set up your uh, Notepad++ so you can edit your scripts or just write scripts from a scratch uh, directly on your computer without opening the Raspberry. So let's have a look. By default, the copying stuff from your computer to Raspberry using the virtual uh, desktop isn't possible. So when you right click within a document, you won't see the paste option available there for you. However, installing the script allows us to actually make this possible and then we can transfer the contact from the computer to the Raspberry Pi uh, by right clicking. To allow this for happen, we're going to install the AutoCut cell uh, script available. So just copy and paste the command and within a few moments you're gonna have it installed on your Raspberry. Then on your Raspberry, go to the file browser and find VNC directory. That's gonna be a startup file that we have to also modify bit before this is gonna start. This is the line that you have to enter in this file to make it work. Modify that document, save it and then either restart entire Raspberry Pi or just restart the server uh, for the virtual desktop and you should be able to copy and paste stuff into your documents The documents however, they're not the greatest uh, Well, the editor isn't the greatest in a Raspberry Pi So I'll show you another trick how to edit documents on Raspberry without using the Raspberry um, interface Notepad++ allows you to install additional modules and plugins that will increase the functionality I use some Python scripts there, so you could color code my scripts and make my life easier. But the default one is also ability to edit uh, your files on the remote server. So you can browse the plugins in the plugins menu and when you're ready, just open NPP FTP. The plugin is using Secure Shell to connect to our Raspberry and that way to pull the data and modify the programs and uh, um, all the files you want. As you can see, I was able to connect it and see what I have available on my Raspberry. You can also see all the uh, files and folders available on your device so you can browse and edit your files freely. Setup of this is very simple. All you have to do is just uh, use the details you would normally use to establish SSH connection. So enter your IP, you can also use the DNS hostname, then port, your username and password, uh, the port should be 22, and then set your home directory. Within a second you'll be able to connect uh, to your Raspberry and pull the files and open them in a notepad editor. So let's test it. I'm going to create and open new file. So to do it, all you have to do is just go to directory, right click on it and create new file. And it will instantly appear on your Raspberry as well. So let's uh, create this file, open it and put some um, details or text into it. The file is now saved. So all I have to do is just go to my Raspberry and go to the same location and you'll see the file will be there, ready. Navigate to the directory when the file was saved and you should find the file available for you to use. From there you can also edit the file within the Raspberry and the changes will be visible to you in Notepad once you reopen the file. Now I'm just opening the same file back in uh, Windows as well in a Notepad++. So just close it and find the directory again, open the file and you see the changes are already there. 
And as usual, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!